Could you come and see me? is a great day to play outside. You know what? You're my favorite deputy. <laughs> hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Happy Wednesday, happy reset day. Hope everybody's having a good day. Hope everybody did good on their dream snaps. Welcome in Gambit. How are you today? It was fun. Wednesday. All right, let's change the time of day because it's too dark. <laughs> you got your first consecutive 4K. Nice. I am um, nervous about what I'm gonna do today. So let's check Scrooge's shop and then we'll check the premium shop and then see what I got. Putting it off. <laughs> I don't, with the critter one, I don't think I did that well because I didn't really, I, I don't really have a decorative background. It's kind of basic, but maybe somebody will like basics. I'll get the votes or something. <laughs> What did you think of the premium shop reset this week? I thought it was pretty good. I got one item so far. Did you get the sushi guy? I saw it on um, Twitter. Dreamlight Valley posted that he was in the shop this week. It's like, buy your sushi guy. Not really, that's what they said, but something like that. All right, let's see what's in the shop. Oh, oh my God, Lady Tremaine's castle or manor house. It's not even hers, it's technically Cinderella's. Oh, I want this. I want this. The sushi guy. I want this too. He went in business with Remy. I never knew the stepmom was named Tremaine. Yeah, Lady Tremaine. Short side table. 
In a monstrous sushi plate. Oh my gosh, the eyeballs. Cute. I don't have anything. <laughs> He's so poor. I did buy a gift card. I treated myself to a gift card. With my... I bought some moonstone so I could get Russell's backpack before it went away. And they'll be gone again. Alright, let's see what I did. Pretty good. Gotta love a place where you never know what happens next. It's so bad it won't load. No. <laughs> this is like the most stressful day ever. Yeah, I didn't think I was going to do good. Yeah, I almost wish I got the backpack, but it will come back. Yeah. Thank you for playing the Fur Feather Skills Challenge. 62.47, so nice rank 28,000, you claim 1,200 moonstones. <laughs> Whoops. Nah. It's alright. Hey, that's better than the past couple weeks. Like, at least I'm above 900. I, yeah, robbed. Robbed. Though I didn't really, honestly, I didn't, I didn't put a lot of effort in it, so I deserved the 1200. But I thought it was a pretty picture. Oh my gosh, I want it all. So I want this house. I know the basket is just the prop item, and I want this. Buy everything. Oh, I really want this skirt. I have passed this thing up, like, every single time. I don't care about... Why is that a f Toy Story item? The watch. But I like the skirt in the top. Oh. Yeah, I barely use umbrellas. I don't need prop items. If we could use them in photos, I would buy it. But we can't, so... What's the point? Well, it's not too bad. Alright, I gotta look at Lady Tremaine's house. It's wonderful how you're helping people. I think I wanna put it here. <laughs> I wanna put it everywhere. The shopping bag would go great in a city build. Yes, or like up here, like in my um yeah, I was playing around with this stuff <laughs> this stuff the other morning. Placing stuff and seeing how things looked. But I wanted to put the bags, like, in here. And, like, make, like, a little shopping, like, gift center and stuff. Yeah, I was playing around. <laughs> I was thinking about my, um city build or the um theme park again i was like where can i move this all right i um so today, this was like what I was working on. I have two Xbox controllers, like the one that came with the Xbox, and then I bought a second one. And um, why did it look prettier in the shop? I like it though. It's very green. Like I don't think it goes here. This is like a meadow house, so I need to move my theme park. <laughs> Change to nighttime. Why does it look like there's more detail? Alright, change to nighttime. It's pretty. I oh no. Maybe it's just the glitch. I was like, oh, there's lights where those things are. 
I like it. I want the bakery skin. I'm not going to lie. Where? Hmm. I wonder, does this look good in the wild tangle? Hold on, let's go there real quick. Oh, but anyway, so, like, today, so I have um, my two Xbox controllers, and the secondary one that I bought had, like, really bad drift. So I was playing around with that yesterday, or today, hoping that I could fix it, and I didn't. But I updated my original Xbox controller, so I can hook up to Steam Deck, so now I can play holding the controller, which is nice. But now I gotta figure out how to fix my other controller. I feel like this is really green here, like... Oh, wait, there wasn't. It's still so green. I thought I was, I was really hoping that the vines would the leaves on the tree, the vines would change color with like the grass in the biome, like the other houses do. All right, let's go try back to the meadow. Maybe better in Glade or in the other dark biome. Oh, the Glade would look really cool too. I didn't think about the Glade. Like, I think, I like it here. Like, this green looks good with the grass. But let's... Let's move it down here. Let's try it in the glade. I mean, Lady Tremaine was te Okay, so... Where the heck is Snow... Where's Cinderella gonna live? Because that was her house. That was technically her dad's house. And then Lady Tremaine got it when he died. But that was her house. And we have her castle... As, um... A house skin, too. Like... What is Cinderella going to live in? Because the castle is not her house. It's her man's house. Where do you have the fairy godmother now? Uh, she is still in the Forgotten Lands. Hey, they are married. She owns half. <laughs> the whole house looks really good here. Just this greenery is throwing me off a little bit. But it's not, it's not bad. We'll find it a forever home. Probably faster than. A theme park. I thought the darkness might offset the bright green. The darkness makes the house pop. Like, you can see, I feel like I can see more detail in the bricks. 
and that's standing out more like this little piece here like above my wing looks more green and i just feel like these the detail pops more but yeah the green let's try the forgotten lands probably not gonna have like an empty well maybe right here let's see what it looks like up there I really like the house. I wish there was a character with it. My buddy Shay is the coolest person you'll ever meet. So Remy and the sushi guy are in business in your valley, eh? Their business is next to each other. See, then, like, here, because it's so, like, it, I don't know, I like it up here, too. I think the purple and the green look really good. But now the roof, like, up here, the brick and the roof look more purple, where down in the glade, they had more of a reddish-brown look. Whenever I get to inside builds, I would love another restaurant. Oh, that'd be such a good idea to a restaurant. I never... Well, I only have, like, a couple houses that have inside builds. Yeah, I don't know where I'm gonna put that house, but I like it. Oh, let's go down here and check out the sushi. The sushi guy. Can you place the sushi guy inside? Or is he just like an outside item? You could place him inside. It's not sushi. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. Oh, why does that bug me? Why can't I center it? Oh wait, there's one more thing. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. Did the eyeballs move? Like, start chippy chopping again, please. This guy looks like he's never had a day off in his life. <laughs> when was- does he not start chopping again? Go away and then come back? Oh, there we go. So cute. Oh, now we need to find out where to put him. Well, look, at, we got Nemo and Dory in the game, so we don't have to worry about them coming back any. We don't have to worry about them. To be honest, I had to take the risk just for the looks. 
of the sushi bar? Weren't you looking forward to the sushi bar? Or, like, the risk of it um not moving? Because even, like, with him resetting, like, having to walk away and reset, like, just him, like, turning and looking and holding the knife and the um, radioactive salt, it's pretty cool looking. I love this. This is really cool. Nice. And then... Oh yeah, then it was just the basket and the outfit. Yeah, I won't be standing in front of him the whole time. But yeah, I like that he keeps moving. Like if I enter and exit... Hi Claire, how are you? Welcome in. Hope you're having a good day. Happy reset day. Hope you did good on your dream snaps. Yeah, I like that he just keeps moving. It's not like the um the train when it like just turns off. Cute. What's your score? Um I got 1200 moonstones. What sort of special ingredients and then I think my score was like 60 something my rank was like I think 28,000 you got 600 again this was a tough week Yeah, 1,200, 62.45, 28,575. Not too bad. Did you get anything from the shop this week, Claire? Alright. Oh, let's see what the new challenge is. Chill summer. Escape winter's chill with a cool summery outfit. Combine summer and winter clothes to create your unique look. Okay. Okay. That is a, um, a weird combination, I'm not gonna lie. Like, you got shorts and a tank top in the Frosted Heights. Like, should I go wear a snowsuit in the desert? With my snow bunny and some snowmen? You got the cozy edition on Monday? Nice. I'm so glad that it was the Switch version. I'm usually pretty cool with snaps, even with repeats, but this one is weird. Yeah, this one is... It's a little different. I'm not gonna lie, it's a little different. Alright, we have just... This is what my plan is. I have one more duty left, so I'm gonna go mine for <laughs> some moonstones. Or, for some... the diamond. And then I can collect all of the moonstones on the last page. On Monday, I got the bookshelf from Beating the Beast, the window from the dorm, and the door from Monsters, Inc. Nice. That's a really good haul. Wait. What's the bookshelf? Do I have the bookshelf from Beating the Beast? Oh, the grand bookshelf. Yeah, because we got the grand reading nook from Belle, right? That was her quest item. Nice. That's a really good haul. The poster I got was the scar update. Nice. I got the... Yeah, I think mine's the Mirabelle one. Mirabelle and Olaf. But I have it, um, so the map is facing forward in my, in my, um, 
image. Which, um, raccoon is your favorite companion out of the, uh, the five that they give you in the cozy edition, Claire? The sadness one I've been using. The sadness one is so cute. I love its little glasses. That is not a shiny gem. Ugh. I have like... <laughs> I guess... While we're waiting for those... Oh, no, I was going to. <laughs> Alright, do I work on some quests like doing Gaston's quest because he's really close to level 9 or should I start should I decorate and do like that Monsters Inc. submission what should we do You want to do Rapunzel? Um, I kind of want to do Gaston first to get him out of the way because I feel like he's really close. Yeah, he's like halfway to level 9. Why is his favorite item of the day pixel shard duplicates? This man be wanting too much. Maybe we'll hang out and do some Gaston quests and get him done with. <laughs> um, let's hang out. For Funzel, you can work on our house. Yeah, I think... Isn't that what we're doing? Isn't that what her quest is? The housewarming. I need one more door to complete the collection. Nice. But hold on. Let me let me finish leveling up Gaston. Get him done with. If he can finish up his quest. And get him out of here. What was his favorite items? Porridge with fruits and yellow cactus flower. Not giving him pixel duplicates. Those things are too rare. Have you finished the story for any of the new characters yet completely? Um, like the Eternity Isle story? Or like Mike and Sully? Yeah, DLC. Yes, I finished the DLC story so far. So now it's just leveling up the characters. I'm su surprisingly, I did finish that. Oops, I meant friend stories. Um, no, I haven't done... Gaston is the closest to being done. He's almost to level 10. He's like halfway through level 9 to 10. And then, um... I have just... Some... F I have some quests I have to change my clothes.
but then I haven't, I have not leveled up Mike, or haven't done any of Mike and Sully's quests. A red top. Black pants. Brown shoes. Gloves. Wow, we could be twins. New clothes, you look acceptable. I look amazing. <laughs> yes, I'm sure you think so. So what's next? I'll introduce you to the Castonian diet and then you'll probably, then you'll be properly fueled for my incredible muscle working routine. Do I dare ask what the Gastonian, do I dare ask about the Gastonian diet? It's simple and effective. Raw eggs, lots of them. You'll find cobra eggs around the glittering dunes. And raw piranha meat. Not my traditional meal, but I found eating dangerous animals to be especially energizing. I should have expected this. All that raw food is a little iffy, though. Well, I suppose you could make yourself a... What did Donald call it? Oh yes, a workout shake instead. Yeah, I'm going to do a workout shake. Fine, but make sure you bring my meal as well. And I'll prepare a Gastonian meal for you in case you change your mind. Off you go. Oh my gosh, this man's going to try to kill me. I did workout shakes as well. <laughs> oh, I didn't want to go there. I wanted to go to the the desert. I'm like not eating a raw piranha. Are you kidding me? I'm a piranha. I live in the Amazon. Oh my gosh, look at eggs. Now they're going to attack me. Got these like snake eggs. Vicious snakes. There they are. And then a piranha. Where do we get piranhas from? The lagoon. In gold bubbles? Okay, thank you. Oh, we have our magical fishing rod still. Sweet. My goodness, how Oh, 
Oh, I hate that. It's the only spot. How am I gonna get those? Fishing is my arch enemy of this game. Get yourself some workout shakes. Three. My console are in here for pesto with linguine and sushi. Okay. This is where I tell my life story. I was born. <laughs> Gambit, thank you for being a member for three months. <laughs> Four score and seven years ago. Oh my gosh, the shakes are using up my eggs. Why does it do that? There should be an option for like ingredients that we can choose for it not to cook with. Like my very rare Easter eggs that I can only get once a year. Was this picture always here? Is that a new photo? Let's get this show on the road. You don't have to use the Easter eggs? How do you choose not to use them? <laughs> See you around. How you doing? Like if I'm auto filling. I'm randomly cooking it. Sweet, he leveled up. Thank you. I haven't even hung out with them or talked to them besides giving them their meals since they came to the valley. Back with this Gastonian food. Excellent. Soon will be time for the coconuts. Uh, Gaston, what's up with the coconuts? What are you planning? No need for you to know that now. The Gastonian mindset doesn't worry about the future. It's about the moment. And this moment is about food. I am getting hungry. Marvelous. Let's eat.
and see in your workout shape. Mmm, delicious. So, how do you feel? Ready to lift weights? Great. What about you? Are you feeling alright after eating so much raw food? Of course. The heart of working my muscles will cook the food inside of- the, oh, the heat! Of course. The heat of working my muscles will cook the food inside me. That's disgusting. That's not how digestion works. Oh, how little you know. Okay, Gaston, what's next? We must create a place to work our muscles. We'll build it from scratch with materials that we've ripped from nature. We call that a gym. And you mean materials that I gather for you? A gym? I like that name. Gather some coconuts, tropical wood, brass ingots, and stones. And see McDuck about a mirror, a large one. Though I dare ask why we need a mirror? You disappoint me. Why would anyone work their muscles if they can't watch themselves do so? That beats me. Make sure you also find Maui and invite him to our gym. As the only one impressively, as the only other impressively muscled person around, he'll want to see what you we've made. All right, I'm off. Alright, so we need one more brass ingot and then fiber. One time the item shows up, if I don't want to cook with it, I hit the delete and it and put what I want. Oh, once the item. Oh, okay. Like, I cook the shake with one milk. Oh. Order qu or Queen of the Sea mirror from Scrooge McDuck. I guess I didn't know that you could change what the ingredients that it used to pop up automatically. Where is he? Oh, anybody need melted candles? I have melted candles in my shop if anybody needs them today. Good day to you. Hi, hello. I'd like to order some items. Furniture. I, I have three. This item is a love-hate relationship. The mirror or like the gym. Thank you kindly. Place near the entrance docks in Ancient's Landing. The gym because you can't order more. And you probably can't craft more, can you? annoying i miss that glitch where if you had an item in your inventory you could invite scrooge or and buy more from scrooge nope <gasps> so annoying we you made it once we should be able to make it again people you're here Maui, I have move. some possibly exciting news for you. <laughs> Don't tell me you used all that magic stuff you do to make yourself shapeshift. Oh, no. Afraid not. Gaston is trying to get a gym going. It's a place to work your muscles with weights and stuff. No thanks. Well, I'm not supposed to ruin the surprise about this part, but he wanted you to know that this will involve coconuts. Interesting. Maybe I will stop by. Not a fan of gyms? 
I don't need a special place to get these muscles. Demigod, remember? Right. You should swing by and check things out. We'll do later. You're welcome. Wait for me, I got little legs. We're gonna run over Rapunzel on his way to the the gym. Maui's foot is wider than Gaston's shoulders. Maui, I knew you'd be a fellow admirer of fitness. Uh, yeah. I was told there were coconuts involved. <laughs> yes, the Gastonian gym features coconuts and other resources gathered solely by yours truly. Good for you, pal. <sighs> really? You like it? Sure, it's a cool mortal thing. As a demigod, I don't need to go to a gym, but I'm happy for you. Mm -hmm. Oh. Are you certain you don't want to try? See you around, Gaston. Hey, look who's here. Me. Oh, poor guy. He got no friends. Well, that was uh, a little awkward. <gasps> Never mind that. We must move forward. No regrets, no second thoughts. That's the Gastodian experience. <laughs> now, are you ready to build muscles like me? I guess. I want enthusiasm. You've seen Merlin's legs, haven't you? Good for walking, maybe. But you need powerful legs to strive impressively. Are you saying never skip leg day? Mm, I like the sound of that. Did you come up with that yourself? Sure did. Actually, I think I remember inventing that ages ago. You must have heard me say it. Uh, no, I'm pretty sure. Enough talk. We must exercise. Okay, big games. Here we come. Start on the barbell. I'll supervise. So, how do you feel? Swole. <laughs> well, we're not done yet. Now comes the most important part. The neck. The what? You think a neck like mine comes naturally? No, you've got to work for it. Okay, what do I do? This is the core of the Gastonian method. I'll ask you some questions and you must answer the way I would. First question. Someone offers you a bunch of vegetables. What do you say? That sounds lovely, thank you. <laughs> Haven't you been paying attention? Is this a joke to you? Not at all. <sighs> now you must find the answer I'd give and then shake your head emphatically. Alright, try me again. Would you like a book? No. That's it. <laughs> Feel your neck getting stronger? Now here's the last one. <laughs> Do you enjoy thinking about the consequences of your actions? No. I only think about my muscle gains when looking in the mirror. Yes, your neck is getting thicker by the minute. Thank you? Wrong. I deserve compliments. There's no reason to thank anyone for them. So what now? Well, now that your neck is impressively thick... Not something I ever expected to hear. We need to show the other villagers. How are you at drawing? What if I take some pictures instead? It's like making an instant painting. Should be faster than drawing a bunch of sketches. <laughs> Not wasting time on boring things. Now you're thinking like me. Three pictures should do it. Hey, Goodbye. Who's here? Me. Take pictures of Gaston.
beautiful. B E A beautiful. Look at those. You like the pictures? I do. They capture my impressive jawline perfectly. And you look adequate. Guess I need to work on my neck more. It's only your first day on the Gastonian program. It usually takes two. Next we must show our results to the other villagers. Start with Maui. I'm sure he'll be very interested in our progress and how it involves coconuts. Okay. And also McDuck and Rapunzel. Any reason why I should see them in particular? Well, they're pictures of me, so who wouldn't want to see that? And as for you, they'll admire how much I've helped you. Just remember to be Gastonian as you shut them off. Alright, here goes nothing. Remember to show off your neck. You're leaving? How odd. This is the most awkward. Gaston's workout pictures. <laughs> Do we have that? Maui always has time for his pet. Motif. Hey Maui, Gaston wanted me to show you these pictures. I... Oh, you and Gaston finally did that muscle working thing? Yep. You're looking at coconut based gains here. Hey. I'm impressed, kid. If Gaston spends a little more time with his coconut gear, he might have a shot at a neck as impressive as mine. All right, now we out. Okay. How about a wee bit of conversation? Mr. McDuck, I've got some pictures to show you. Ah. What's this? Are you showing me more of my unintended investment? Not exactly. Oh, my stars and garters. What happened to your neck? Incredible gains happen. Uh -huh. Ouch, I hope it's reversible. No. Alright, and Rapunzel. For us. Rapunzel! Mm. Oh! You sound a little different. I guess Sam wants me to show you these workout pictures. Oh, uh, congratulations? Thanks. Gotta run now. Lots to do. Turn to Gaston. Where is this man? Why do you stop hanging out with me? It's about time. All done Pay showing off the pictures. Excellent. Did Maui like them? Maui, well, he did like the coconut workout gear. But he also said that you should spend more time working out if you want a neck as thick as his. Oh. Gaston, are you about to cry? No, crying is not Gastonian. I'm sweating from my eyes. Was all of this just so you could talk to Maui, make a friend? Of course not. You could have just been honest. There's no need for the whole pretense. 
Have you learned nothing from that Gastonian experience? Oh, oh no, I did. <gasps> well, at least you can continue to improve your neck with the workout gear. But I'm sorry to say that you just don't understand what it's like to be Gaston. Uh. All this cleverness of yours, it, it gets in the way. No, Gaston, I couldn't dumb myself down. Mm. Oh, it's too late for that. You'll never be a new LeFou or work as my sidekick. I I want to be alone. Okay, we can talk later, I guess. But I think what you're really in need of is a friend. Perhaps you're right. I'll consider what you've said. I wish you did improve your neck. I do deserve gifts, don't I? <laughs> Alright, let's try to level this fool up. Oh, Gaston. Oh, the, stone, the sword and the stone pieces. You should use your outfit for the sweepstake. Oh, my Celia outfit? That's a good idea. And I can do like her purple hair and stuff and her purple skin. That could, yeah. I didn't even think about that. We're going back to our fairy roots. She was a fairy. I was thinking of like doing something from like Luca. But cosplaying one of those little characters and like being on the beach, but yeah, maybe I'll do the Celia with the dress and like the hair. I don't even think I've tried the outfit on since Hold on. Now I kind of want to put the hair the outfit on. I can have my I oh, genius having Mike hang out with me. Oh my gosh, we can go to Harryhausen's. Oh my gosh. Set up a little date night with the sushi guy. Harryhausen's, but it's impossible to get a reservation there. Let's hope the date goes well. <laughs> Better than last time. <laughs> I know I'm gonna need to really sell it. I need a, a net cone. There we go. Be my little monster self. <laughs> that would be hilarious. Michael Wazowski. Last night was the worst light. Where's the worst night of my life, bar none. I thought you cared about me. I thought you liked sushi. Sushi? Sushi? You think this is about sushi? <laughs> Ooh, so now I should figure out where to put Harryhausen's. <laughs> So 
house game. Are you serious? I have been going to have I hate having to go down in these tunnels because it's like I forget where the entrances are sometimes. I think I will do mine Sully theme. Ooh, like Sully. Like Sully and Boo. Oh my gosh, you could like do it in front of Boo's door. Where is Co oh his coat? Yeah, I didn't even think about that. I forget that the item exists because I haven't unlocked it yet. Ooh, moonstones. I got Mike and Sully to level 10 on Sunday. Nice. The only way I'll get him to level 10 is if they're in my restaurant for the next couple of weeks. Because I think after Gaston, I think I'll focus on Rapunzel's quest. I want to try to get Return the Isle folks all leveled up before the next act here. I feel like my game is very laggy right now. Need to do a hot fix soon. No, what a cool. Did I stream Sunday? Yeah, Sunday was we are still spiraling with dream snaps. I don't remember what day it is. Yeah, we started Friday, Saturday. No, I don't want to talk to you. Yeah, I remember you were working on leveling them up. That's awesome. I think you were at level 8? Sunday? Let's remember.
People are painting my house. I'm trapped. Trapped and stuck inside. Watched nothing but TV since Sunday. I want to go outside. Can you paint the house faster? Oh no. How come you've been stuck inside? I, um, what was it, yesterday? No, to oh, today was so nasty out. It was so windy and snowy. And then, um, what was it? And then, yesterday was pretty windy and cold, too. Maybe you should talk to Gaston to level him up. He's really close. Do you have a question? I assume you'd heard of me before we met. Yeah, some from Belle. Pretty interesting things. Uh, I'm sure she told you that everyone in our village thinks I'm the best. It's my most admired quality. Mm -hmm. Hi, Ashy. How are you? Welcome in. Happy Wednesday. Happy reset day. Hope you did good on your dream snaps this week. Because I had to paint in halves. They did the front first, so yeah, it's not fried yet in the letters. Still still everywhere. You think the amount of times I walked under them would be cursed? Nope. Oh, I didn't think about the ladders and stuff. Your sister had her baby yesterday. Congratulations. Being an aunt. I held it. Babies are so chubby. <laughs> Aww. Newborn babies are so cute. I love the little scrunch that they do. The newborn scrunch is like the sweetest little thing. Eh, too much stuff here. I could also level him up by cleaning up all this garbage. And tarps on the ground. The smell is absolutely horrible and smells like something is constantly burning. Are they painting the exterior of your house? Or like painting inside it? And sneezes are so cute. Oh my gosh. And they do like that. They sneeze and they unscrunch. And it's like this cutest little thing ever. They look kind of like so angry. And then like they just kind of like squish back up. Exterior. So many people I know are getting their houses work like worked on, remodeled and stuff. I feel like I need to do something a wall or something. Oh, and I only got 600 moonstones for my dream snaps. Oh, you were robbed. How did you do on yours? I got, um, 1,200. A little bit better. 
than what I've been doing, my goodness. I've been in like the six and nine hundred slump. But I had a feeling it wasn't going to do too, too well. The difference in personality is night and day. While both nieces are very much attached to me, in particular the second one, the sheer side of me is like, yes, give me this person, nobody else. That's my cousin's little boy. He comes over, he like yells up to like up the stairs to like me. It's so cute. But it's funny, but then like he doesn't like it because I'll tell him no, and he doesn't like being told no. So I just have to give him this stare down when he's doing something he doesn't like. He just like goes back to his mom and like disappears. But then two seconds later he's like calling my name and trying to talk to me or show me something. Did you buy anything from the premium shop today? I bought the Tremaine house and I bought the sushi guy. But I did treat myself <laughs> to a gift card, a Steam gift card, Monday. Um, and so I bought some moonstones with that. So I had some moonstones on hand. So that pretty much paid for most of my stuff in, that I got today in the shop. I bought the sushi stuff. The sushi stuff is so good. I'm really... I really like the basket, but I don't like that as an accessory item, so I don't need to buy it now. I probably won't ever buy it, honestly. Unless they do, they change it and we can use them in Dream Snaps. So it seems my Rip Your Moon Sun Suite was 100% accurate. Oh, it was. It was. Like, I saw that sushi thing with, like, I was like, oh, there goes my Moonstones. And then when I saw Lady Tremaine's house, my heart stopped. I was like, it's not the house skin that I wanted. Like, I'm still waiting for the other one. Hopefully it shows up. Did you place the sushi octopus anywhere yet? Um, I just threw him down in the plaza to look at him. But I have to figure out where the forever home is going to be. And like Claire did a good suggestion of wearing my Celia dress in like the monster dream, sna dream snaps. No. Sweepstakes. The living monstrously sweepstakes. Like being Celia and Mike. And then it was like, oh, came to me like I should do like their date. Recreate their date at Harryhausen's. So that's my plan for it. I just have to figure out where I'm going to put it. It's so lifelike. It's probably the most animated item we got. It is so cute. I love it. These little choppy noises with the knives. I love it. Are you gotta be like close to leveling up, aren't you? Oh, you're so close. No, go leave it alone. I don't want to talk to you. Uh, I, I need to go empty my cell stuff. And I gotta come back for those forks. And it was the next one down. It's like someone stole his stall. The only bright side about these people painting the house is ironically making me aware that I watch too much anime. Recently, I quite honestly watched two seasons in a day, 12 episodes each, and finished on show. Oh my goodness. That's me. Like, not anime, but like, if I'm stuck home or something, I can binge a show so fast. Like, it was like nobody's business. We should give the octopus a name. I'm calling him Moochie. 
Oh, That's so cute. That reminds me of the cat in Big Hero 6. Mochi. As you can see, speedrunning is not only DDB time. This is the essence, even though there's limited time. <laughs> I am the slowest speedrunner of any game. I don't speedrun, I like... I'm in a wheelchair. I'm in a wheelchair that you guys are like pushing. <laughs> Gambit's like rolling me over to the auto cooker section. The automated section. Claire guides me in the way of character quests and information. Like this way. Oh, smoke shipper. Is this where I drop the fort? Yes. Let me pick them up before I forget about them. I also love the Alice in Wonderland sweater. It's so cool. It is such a good item. I love it. It just makes me want, like, the actual characters and more furniture in the game so much more. Ah yes, YouTube ads. Here's an ADHD test. My response, yeah I know. I'm good man. I already passed that test. Like, I don't know, 17, 18 years ago. Are there ads running during the live stream? I thought I had those turned off. If there are, let me know and I'll like check back the settings. That's really annoying. Ooh, are you streaming Kingdom Hearts tomorrow? Yes. I was gonna try to stream last night, but I was like dead. I don't know. I was so tired last night. And I really didn't do much of anything. It's my clearest day visual ad. Oh, right under the stream. Oh, okay. I thought like the stream like yeah let me know if there's if there's ads that go on during the stream so it, it's that sponsored section oh gotcha because i don't want like ads to be like running during the stream because that's kind of annoying but the um i think what are they bumper ads i think they're called the ones that you see underneath yeah, I have ads. YouTube makes your browser run slowly with ad block. Oh. Okay, uh, I gotta figure out how to turn so the like, ads don't show during the stream. Like, you leave the stream to watch like a stupid ad. Because that is not fun. I don't win the ads. Stream's gotta earn- <laughs> Stream's gotta earn the revenue. I mind them. I think they're annoying. <laughs> is he almost close? He is like on the verge. He's so close. Is anyone else stream lagging bad or is it just me? 
my character or like my game is seeming like a little laggy it says excellent stream connection so hopefully yeah i don't For me, the ads only play when I join the stream. Okay, that's what I thought I had it turned to. Because, like, it'll play when you start. But, like, it doesn't play. Like, all of a sudden, like, right now I'm talking. And it'll stop and, like, put it in an ad. But, yeah, I'm, like, watching her run. And it's, like, today. I'm noticing her, like, it'll... It looks really glitchy. So it could be just like my game is really laggy too. Yeah, it was, I came home, no, yesterday I had a doctor's appointment, like, in the afternoon, and, um, I got home from that, had to do a couple errands, and it's like, I just sat down on the couch, and I passed out, I was, like, dead tired, and then I woke up, and I was, like, a zombie, like, the, where am I right now, and then I watched a TikTok about this dog dying, so I was like sobbing then my sister called me and I was like overly tired and crying and I was like this is she's like what's the matter and I'm like this dog died and she's freaking out like what dog and I'm like a stranger's dog on TikTok I don't know who it is does anyone else have this problem so I've been worried about a wedding I'm going to in September however I've been worried about it since last September don't know if I'm just eager for the free Hawaii vacation or my nerves are just not good with these types of things Um, I get nervous and stuff like that. Any type of event like that, I get like all like worked up. Even it could be something minor, or like, or vacation or something like that. And like my anxiety like doubles before, right before. I always get sad when I hear about a dog dying. It was that, like, if you watch TikTok, it was that, like, 28-day one. And, like, that trend where they show the pictures and stuff. And, like, they have that song playing. Oh, man, it was the saddest thing I ever saw. I went to Hawaii for a wedding for free. I didn't even know the people. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I have never been to, like, a destination wedding. Like, everything's been pretty local. But me just traveling, like, I get nervous. I'm excited, and then, but then I, like, psych myself up, like, oh my gosh. I do that with, like, events, too. I'm like, oh, I don't think I should go out. <laughs> Do I have that capybara? I do. Nobody's here today.
Have you watched the music video? Wish you the best. Um, no, I haven't. Who sings it? I don't think any of- oh, I went to look at the snakes too. Not here today. Uh, I forget about those things. Those little crusty critters. If it's a new music, within the past, I don't even know how many years, I probably have not listened to it. Or I don't know it. I'm really bad at knowing new stuff. Oh, Louis Capaldi. I heard about that music video, if that's the one, and everybody was like, sobbing from. Yeah, it could just make you cry. I saw people reacting to that, I was like, oh, I don't know if I can do that. I don't know if I can handle that. Well, I'm very sympathetic for others' pets dying. The TikTok stuff to me is clout for clicks and don't even get me started on the animal shelters commercials. They work in the opposite with me. I sob. I'm like this emotional wreck. I just sit there and like cry. My l eyes are a little puffy. And the bad thing is, is like when I'm at work and I'm waiting like between stages like for stuff to dry, I'll sit there and like just scroll through TikTok and like watch a video or something real quick and then I'm like sitting there crying to, like wipe my eyes with like dusty dirty shirt <laughs> shirt sleeves not all the tiktoks are that but most I cry with anything sad oh the sad one I was crying today <laughs> I don't know why I watched this stuff it was the um the husband died, but he like, it was a video of his dog that he got and he left like a message for his dog so it could hear his voice because he had like cancer. Like, why do I watch this? So I was like, I was waiting for the dog to die and then it was like, his like human died and I'm like, why? And then I watched Dreamlight Valley stuff. <laughs> I'm like, all right, enough of this. I need to pick me up. Oh, you're so close. I cleaned up all that stuff. Oh, there's a little orb thing over there. get experience from this, does he? No, he's just standing there like, I'm wasting his time. I feel like with this new niece, my brother and sister-in-law are like, are, my brother and sister-in-law are in the, you'll watch them, okay, great, ghost them all, brother sleeps, they're concerned, nah, he'll be fine, that kid likes him more than an hour and a half later, so how did it go with it, fine, oh, I thought you were gonna have some trouble. <laughs> 
They're really fussy. You didn't give me an extra one of those cube things? How rude. He's so close to leveling up. I want to do an area. I think maybe where the bamboo already is growing. I want to do a Tarzan area. I was really inspired while voting. And I saw a couple, like, with the bamboo in the tents. That's an axe. You should always be worried about the ones they say are always good and are quiet children. They're expert liars and know what they can get away with. They can get away with crossing the line where there is not one. Oh yeah, when they're like, oh, sometimes they're like, they're like the easiest baby ever to watch. They're no trouble at all. And it's like, they become a terror. It's like, you lied. <laughs> soon, Gaston. You need to level up. Oh, I hope my new nephew is a chill baby. <laughs> I hope so, too. It's just like, I think it's when they're older and they tell, or, no, sometimes they are like, when they're little, they're a little picky, but It's just funny when, like, they'll tell you, like, oh, they're the easiest baby, and you're like, mm. Have you played with this child? Have you hung out with this child? It's like my cousin, like, her youngest boy, she's like, he's, like, when he was little, he's such a good baby. And, like, this kid is a two-legged terror like the kid I, i've never seen a kid get into like laundry soap before this kid will like wander to a laundry room and like get laundry soap and it's like i don't even know you could like watch him and he's like always into something i'm like good lord In our family, all the male babies have been calm while the female babies were chaos. <laughs> yeah, like my cousin's little boy, she's like, could you watch him? I'm like, hmm, maybe. Other kids have been chill, but this one, I don't know what, I don't know what was in the water with this child, but he's like, 
I don't even know. It's like the kid you have to hide stuff from. <laughs> like, lock up everything. Like we have for like my dogs, we have like the electric collars and stuff that I put on them when they go out and stuff. And so like if they get too far, we can like do the beep and they'll hear us because like there's fields and stuff. And that we don't have to put up like electric fence and they can like roam and run around. But anyway, so this kid saw us put them on and now he tries to like turn on the collar and like, I'm like he's going to shock himself one day. And I'm not going to want to be the day he does that. <laughs> Look at that. He's not going to be a happy child. I think all this stuff is returning to the aisle stuff anyway. It's bad when you don't like milk and cereal. And they can go like, I have some, yeah, eat nine percent of it. I get like two, go back to get more. Shake the box. Two come out more left sucks. Unbelievable comedy. <laughs> oh, I, I like this. It's funny, my cousin's kids, like, they all had lisps when they were younger, so, like, L's were Y's, and so they'd want to try something, and, like, her little girl, who's now, like, nine or something, she'd be like, oh, I yike this, and can I have some more, and I was like, no, because I yike it too, that's why I'm eating or drinking this. I feel like I'm daddy daycare. <laughs> Crispin! Oh, it was gold I had and those other gems. that one bathroom scene <laughs> that movie is how I teach children how to spell broccoli that's how I learned how to spell broccoli is Gaston not hanging out with me again oh, there he is My 13 year old cousin, I feel like I'm Paul Rudd in role models. Gee, thanks. No. Oh my gosh, she's like on the verge. I need like one more thing. Moonstones. Just get fruit. <laughs> no, we have to level him up with his craft. <laughs> it's that one little thing to push him over. Down to 
Yeah. There we go. Finally. Six years later. Sweet. Give me my mist. Alright, last last friendship. Hey, what's new? I've had an amazing idea. Gee, great, let's hear it. I've accepted you're not an ideal lackey. But that doesn't change the fact that I'm in need of one. Sidekick Gaston, not lackey. There's a difference? Yes, heroes have sidekicks. Lackeys are more like servants. And no, I'm not going to be your servant. Regardless, I'm going to recruit one of the villagers to be my sidekick. As long as sidekick is just your way of saying friend, I guess that's relatively harmless. And you're going to help me. Sure, why not? Any ideas who you want as your new sidekick? No, I need to see if they're worthy first. I've made a list of potential villagers and I need you to talk to each of them. Interrogate them for me and let me know if they have the qualities I require in a sidekick. Don't judge a book by its cover, Gaston. Of course not, unless it has pictures. Now, I think the following villagers could be good candidates. Donald, Penelope, Stitch, Minnie, and Olaf. Big list, and a bit random. Well, I may need backups. Okay, I'll talk to them, but don't get upset if they don't want to, okay? When have I ever gotten upset? You know what, I'm gonna leave instead of answering that. Goodness. Gotta interrogate every villager in the valley. Oh, why don't I just... Oh, they're all here. Stitch, we found you. Stitch, do you have a moment? Stitch have lots of moments. Great, Gaston is looking to audition sidekicks. Are you maybe interested? Sidekick? What is a sidekick? It's like a cross between a friend and an assistant. And you'll be competing with some others to win the spot. Oh, Stitch, very good at competitions. So that's a yes? Yeah. Gotta. Alright, I'll tell Gaston that you're interested. Thank you. Oh, so glad Olaf. You How is my very good friend? Not too bad. Running an errand for Gaston. He's looking for a new sidekick. How exciting. Did you know that sidekicks have been an essential part of stories for thousands of years? I do now. Gaston is holding sidekick tryouts. Are you interested? A chance to make a new friend? Of course. Well, I'm not sure Gaston sees it that way, but... Oh, maybe I should bring him a friendship gift. Again, not sure if... What am I saying? Of course I'll bring a friendship gift. It would be rude not to. Alright. Let me tell Gaston that you're a candidate and you can deal with the friendship gift on your own. Oh, thanks. Makes me so happy. Did they tell you office based wedding crashers and scary movies are your good movies and you can sigh in relief? You only have to further steer them in the right direction. <laughs> oh my goodness. Office space is such a funny movie. Hello, Hello Minnie. I'm here on an official errand. Oh, how exciting. It's for Gaston. He's looking for a new sidekick. Would you be interested? A sidekick? Well, if that means he'll make a friend, I think it's wonderful. 
but I'm afraid I don't have time. I'm so busy with my gardening and book club and helping all the adorable animals. Minnie, you're adorable. Thank you, so are you. I hope Gaston won't be too upset. Oh, no worries whatsoever. I'm sure he'll get over it. With your help, I'm sure he will. Good luck with the rest of your errand. Thanks, Minnie. Thank you. Minnie is me with animals. <laughs> she just took off running. <laughs> Donald, I have a proposition for you. <laughs> Whoa, what's wrong? It's Uncle Scrooge. He's got a fancy crystal vase I want to buy for a gift. But he won't let me look at it. Did you try to look at it with your hands? Maybe. Oh no. Maybe try looking at it with your eyes next time. That's what Uncle Scrooge said. I've got something that might take your mind off of things. We've got something. Oh, yeah, I've had that. Blah, blah, blah. Gaston is holding sidekick auditions. Are you interested? If you can show your uncle that you're responsible enough to be a sidekick, maybe he'll be more inclined to let you check out his stock. That's a great idea. I'll do it. Great. I'll tell Gaston. Alright, Vanellope. Is she glitching around here? I'm calling my shot, like... Babe Ruth, Daisy will be in this game in no later than four, we four weeks. How many days are left on the star path? Oh, 27 days? Oh, she's not going to be here till May. I'm guessing May. Hi Danny, the Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo Gamer 2000. How are you? Welcome in. Uh, Hope you're having a good day. Did you know yesterday was the first day of spring? I did. I didn't even like make the connection until I saw on Twitter somebody made the comment that um because the Stardew Valley update came out yesterday and they're like oh how poetic like it's the first day of spring and when you start a new s game it, you start on the first day of spring i'm like sweet that's so cute because it said early spring and that would be by mid april max one reason why i say it comes out on april 10th or 17th well, we've got 27 days left on the star pass so that's like a month and they usually don't, um, what is it, usually like two to three weeks after the star path is over that we get the next update. So I'm that's why I'm thinking like May. Because we have one more week. Like we're a week and a half away from April. Well, today's the middle. Because what is it, the next... Yeah, next Sunday is the last day of the month. Not this fall, not this coming up one, but the next one. Yeah, 27 days left and a mini minimum 14 days break in between. Update, I'm calling May for only free update. So I have a feeling for May. I'm doing great. I'm having a good day. Okay, you played on your Mac and MacBook Air. Very nice. How did you do on your dream stops this week, Danny? 
second DLC update later May. I have a feeling that they're just going to put them together. That's just my gut feeling. Hey, Vanellope. How's it going, chum? I'm running a little errand for Gaston. Oh, you mean muscle brain? Uh, sure. Why would you ever run errands for that guy? He deserves help, too. <laughs> I guess. Anyway, he's looking for a sidekick. You interested? Don't make me say my full name. What? I don't like to pull the princess card too often. Okay, but... I am Princess Vanellope Von Schweetz. Does that sound like the name of a sidekick to you? Sass. No, I guess it doesn't. Tell Muscle Brain I say hi. Yeah, that's it. She's mean. Bye. DLC says spring, not early spring. That's why I have a feeling that they're going to push the early spring to spring with the DLC. That's just my gut feeling. I'll just all be wrong and Game Loft just go surprise. Here's Daisy while this current star path is still going. No. Oh my gosh. People would lose their mind. Look here. The card actually opened like her door instead of um the instead of like the, the the key card be made instead of like getting that last door with the sticky note and the eye thing, it like brings Daisy to the world. She was trapped in some kid's door. Can we get an update spring? Getting there. I'm currently on layer sweet layer oh so when did you start um playing the game danny free update has more strict timeline due to star path yeah like they oh they have like a certain amount of space in between hope you like shadow drops everyone all done gaston i've got three potential candidates for you Marvelous. Tell me about each of them. Okay, let me tell you about Stitch. He's a little furry blue alien. He's extremely strong and bulletproof and can see in the dark. Bulletproof. Hmm, that has definite potential. What about his personality? Something of a trickster. Mischievous, but means well. Alright. Okay, let me tell you about Olaf. He's quite charismatic and likes to put on a show. That reminds me of LeFou already. LeFou is quite the performer for such a small man. Oh my gosh. How cute would it be like Holof was a sidekick and then he had like LeFou was frozen in that one scene of the movie. He was like the snowman outside the door. Well, Olaf is just the sweetest, kindest villager you'll ever find in the valley. Also, a great partner for trivia contests. Hmm, interesting. Okay, let me tell you about Donald. Donald is Scrooge McDuck's nephew. I've seen him around. He always seems upset. That's Donald for you. The smallest injustice really riles them up. Something to consider. I'll need to think carefully about this. Thinking isn't part of that Gastonian experience. I know, but sometimes it's unavoidable. Thinking, thinking. Donald is out. I need a sidekick who doesn't lose his temper. Emotions are inconvenient. Fair enough. Hmm. I want you to introduce some Gastonian tasks, the remaining candidates. And I'll watch to see how well they perform. Alright, what are we gonna what are we doing? Start with Stitch. Have him prepare a proper Gastonian breakfast dish. And Olaf, see if he can conquer the wilds of nature. On it. Excellent. I'll be watching. And I'll be eating the breakfast as part of the test. Here, make sure Stitch knows what I like. I'm going to be cooking this meal. I really didn't know Stitch was bulletproof. 
does I'm trying to remember what um what's his name? Um Jumba. Remember like in the beginning of the movie when they're on trial and he's like does he say bulletproof and he's like and can, can lift things three times the size and he's like his only weakness is to destroy everything he touches or something like that. I don't remember his little his little monologue that he go he does in front of the grand councilwoman. I started on November sixteenth, twenty twenty three. Oh, nice. How are you enjoying this? Have you how are you enjoying this update so far? Have you unlocked Mike and Sully yet? Man, Lizzie, better get a salve for that thick neck. It's not going down. I know. Uh, maybe Merlin could give me a potion or something. Not yet. It's been a while. I've been multiplasting while playing Disney Magic Kingdoms. Oh, nice. You're getting your double Disney games. I've never played the Disney Magic Kingdom. I want to now that I've played this game to like see how like Game Loft improved. Sit, you're officially a candidate for Gaston's new sidekick. Eagle do sit you a win. Yeah, I get motivated. Yes, I want you to make him a classic Estonian breakfast. Do you have any other ideas off the bat? Yes, yes, coffee. Honestly, for my breakfast, I, I'd agree with you. Gaston is into eggs, like really into eggs, and he's got a bit of a thing for coconuts as well. Gaston like coconut? Yay, I make Gaston best coconut cake. You help Stitch with cooking? Sure, let's get to it. Coffee, coconut cake, and egg. Big breakfast order, but Stitch is ready. Here, you have recipes so you can make the best cake too. You going to hang out and cook with Stitch now? Totally. Oh my goodness. I should have tried out Disney Magic Kingdoms. What year did it come out? You should. It's amazing. It's also by Gameloft. What do you... Like, you essentially are just building a park, right? Oh, it's sugar cane. I'm curious when we will get another DLC. Will they just move on from the aisle or will it still be incorporated? That's a really good question. Like, Yeah, they're just going to introduce like something new. Like a new boat will carry us to somewhere else. Yeah, that's what it is. And you get to welcome characters as well. I should try that. And you're... What do you play it on? Is it, like, can you play it on the Mac? Or is it, like, PC only? Or is it on consoles? More than likely move on, and with that room will be another island. Yeah, I have a feeling. Are they gonna give, like... I'm curious on what's gonna happen next. I might try Disney Magic Kingdoms on my phone. Oh. iPhone, iPad, Android, or Windows. Let's try it on my iPad. I think there's a way I can hook up my iPad to the, um, 
Like how I have my Steam Deck hook up, hooked up, that I could like stream it. Did I already make the scrambled eggs? No, I didn't. I hope we don't pay extra for it. For the, um, for what Claire pay extra for? Bring the meals to Stitch. I wonder if it's like Animal Crossing and Pocket Camp when compared to DDV. Oh. That's a, yeah, that's a good thought. I wonder if it'll be like that. Like the mobile version almost. DLC for a new chapter. Probably. If it's like something where in that where the Eternity Isle is in the bow and they add in something there, I feel like we're going to have to pay for it. Here you go. One Gastonian breakfast a la Stitch. Taka smells good with coffee. The game is free for download, but the only time you would purchase items is for magic or gems. Okay, yeah, I heard that you had to like you know, buy some stuff to progress things or else it goes slow. But if it's like I don't have to pay for stuff, I can I can wait. This DLC is one package, but they will have future DLC per cost. Sitch go bring to guest on now. Alright, good luck. Don't need luck. Have coffee. Why am I imagining Lizzie raging in the new Mario Kart? Because one of us blue shelled her from the first place to last. I do not like Mario Karts. I'm so bad at that game. Oh, would you like to do something together? Uh, game Loft is bigger on mobile games than console. Yeah, because this was their first console game, wasn't it? Technically, was Dreamlight Valley, and then like the Speedstorm was the second. They were pretty. They were mobile before that. Olaf, are you ready for your sidekick test? <laughs> Definitely, but I have an important question first. Sure, what's up? Hmm? If I offer Gaston a warm hug, would that be considered trying to influence the judge? No, you're fine. He needs a hug. I'm not sure how receptive Gaston would be, though. Mm -hmm. Oh, so I need to become his friend first and then offer a hug. I understand. Sure, let's go with that for now. Gaston wants to see how you're able to conquer nature. That's a big thing for him. Hmm? Conquer nature. How silly. Nature can't be conquered. He must mean something else. Well, he spent a lot of time alone in the glittering dunes. Maybe he wants to see how you tackle the swirling sands, glass stalagmites, and copper rocks. I can deal with those with my royal tools, but you'll need to tag along and be a good sidekick. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. But what if he, what if he really wants is a bouquet of flowers? If I was to try to make a new friend and they brought me flowers, I'd be so happy. Great idea, Olaf. Hooray! What if we bring him flowers that nobody's ever seen before? We could find one of those portal things to someplace else and then bring back flowers for Gaston that are brand new to the valley. Whoa, um, slow down there. Okay. Why don't we try for something a little simpler and gather flowers from Eternity Isle? Great idea. Let's go conquer nature and gather flowers. Are you ready to go now? Let's do it. Which is why they wanted to do free to play in the beginning. Oh, with the mobile and stuff and then you pay, pay as you go and you need things. Takes me back to karate camp, ironically. There was a lot of DS and dodgeball time. Disney Speedstorm is amazing. I have not tried Disney Speedstorm because I do not have 
hand-eye coordination for racing games. I like, I can't do them. Oh my god, I cleaned up everything. I shouldn't have cleaned up stuff. <sighs> what are the glass stalagmite? Are, the, oh, are those those things I gotta break with my shovel? Oh no. So they got some swirly things down here. Fizzy Seaporn came out on September 28, 2023, and it's on Windows, PlayStation 4, 5, Xbox One, Xbox Series XS, Nintendo Switch, and still waiting release on mobile. Yeah, somehow, like, when I play racing games, I am the one who somehow ends up driving backwards on the course, and I don't know how it happens. The pickaxe for the slagmites. I'm afraid I cleaned those all up. I shouldn't have been so diligent in cleaning up my valley. Mario Kart is so hard for some reason. I I can't play. And then my sister, she was the one. She also she loved Mario Kart, and she was online playing with like strangers. So she's so good. Like she's playing with these little kids and like beating them to a pulp. And then I play with her, and I'm like going backwards on the course. <laughs> like, so embarrassing. But I've been playing Disney Magic Kingdoms a lot and it's kind of similar to Dreamlight Valley except you have to restore the kingdom from Maleficent. Oh, gotcha. I should download that and give it a try. I would give anything for them to add Maleficent in this game right now. Just an absolute fire tweet your way. <laughs> Alright, I'll have to check it out. Oh, good, I see some of those things. Sweet. It's your worst nightmare. Oh, no. Oh, no. Alright, bring the stuff to Olaf. People were comparing the two games when DDV came. Yeah, I remember them, like, comparing it and talking about it. And I had no idea what they were talking about. Okay, Olaf, I think you're ready to report back to Gaston. I just know he's going to love the flowers. Sure he will. One warm hug for Gaston. Here we go. You start off with Mickey, then work your way with Toy Story, then Cinderella, etc. Oh, okay. Perform some dreamlight duties while Olaf reports to Gaston. How long have you been playing um, that game? Harvest three strawberries. Let's go harvest three strawberries. Did you start playing the Magic Kingdoms before, after, or about the same time as Dreamlight Valley? I don't know why I was going zigzaggy. Like a crocodile or something uh, was chasing just so me. You know, I've got some new goods at the store.
Yes, there's strawberry there. Hang out with Eve for five minutes. Oh my goodness. I played it before Dreamlight Valley. Oh, okay. Four rock spots in the glittering dunes. Is there... Do you prefer one game over the other? Or do you like them equally the same? You like them the same. Okay. That's good to know. Talk to Gaston. Where would he be at? He's coming towards me. But there's tons of characters in the game like Mickey and Friends, it's Toy Story, Cinderella, Star time. Wars, Peter Pan, Pirates of the Caribbean, Monsters Inc., Wally, Tangled, etc. Oh my gosh, they've got everybody in there. They better bring those characters to Dreamlight Valley. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> well, you've tested your two candidates. What do you think about the results? I'm disappointed. Yeah, I saw that coming. What? Why? Stitch did bring me a heroic amount of eggs. And the coconut cake was quite good. But that coffee was terrible. Why would he drink that? I think he likes the energy boost it gives him. How unnecessary. I get all of my energy from my incredible strength of will. So you're going with Olaf then. Olaf? But he... He brought me flowers. And? And I asked him to conquer nature and he brought me flowers. Okay, I get your point. So what do you want to do? Well, they both have potential, so I'll need to give them another test. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Toiling my virtues during a party. Oh, a party? Of course, that's the final test. Well, we'll need a proper setting to truly see their skill. Make me a Gastonian appreciation stage. Excuse me, what? Exactly what I said. A stage where people can host me on their shoulders and loudly proclaim how amazing I am. You'll need tropical wood, copper, and those things you call plastic scraps. Set that up and I'll inform the candidates about the next test and send out invitations to the event. Alright, I'll take care of that next. Goodbye. Is there, there's a crafting bench by his house, isn't there? Skip Star Wars and Pirates. I don't want no live-action characters looking more goofy than goofy. <laughs> and the best part about Disney Magic Kingdoms is that there's events that have limited time. Characters like The Incredibles, Night Before Christmas, Frozen, Mulan, Beauty and the Beast. Oh, that's cool. Oh, maybe there wasn't. A crafting table. Maybe it was just his his stall that was there.
Oh, the crafting table is by his tent. I knew there was something with Gaston and crafting table. Place the Gastonian appreciation stage. Right now the event is Ice Age. That is so weird for to me to think about that. Like Disney owning Fox, so now they own Ice Age. It doesn't seem right. Oh my, what a crew. I know, right? It's so weird but funny at the same time. Yeah, cannot see, like, Sid the Sloth and Mickey Mouse hanging out <laughs> in any universe. I can't remember, was Ice Age, Pixar, if it was, then Disney owned it from day one. No, it was, um, like, Blue Sky. Wasn't Blue Sky part of Fox? Yeah, wait, who owned? I thought it was, like... Oh, it's Maui, like, pity pat in his chest. So does that mean Disney owns Rio, too? I think so. Is Rio on Disney? I think Rio is on Disney+. Plus. Yeah, Blue Sky Studios was a subsidiary of 20th Century Animation until its acquisition by Disney as part of their acquisition of 21st Century Fox assets in 2019. Blue Sky was shut down in April 2021 by Disney due to the economic impact of the COVID-19 pandemic on its business operations. So yeah, they own Rio too. How do we think that went, Gaston? Mm, deciding will be tricky, very tricky. Stitch told me everyone. Stitch told everyone that I struggle with my badness or something or other, but that I'm doing an excellent job managing it. Oh, that's so adorable. I don't need adorable in a sidekick. Still, he is the appropriate size for a sidekick, and he does have an interest in music. Having a band leader for social events would be beneficial. What about Olaf? How'd he do? Well, he was excellent at complimenting me. He informed everyone of my dedication to physical fitness. And he even sang about my neck. I feel like there's a butt coming. But he complimented everyone. He clearly doesn't understand that compliments are meant to make one person stand out from the rest. How will other people understand that I'm better than they are if Olaf compliments everyone equally? Uh, I don't think you understand Olaf, Gaston. What matters is that he doesn't understand me. Well, you still have to pick a winner. Who's it gonna be? I'm not sure. definitely a tough choice well you know what i do with tough choices what i pass them along to someone else you have to help me who do you think would make the best sidekick for me mm, tricky question quite 
Okay, the best sidekick for you would be... Um, Olaf. Fine, I'll go tell him the good news. I was going to say, didn't they buy them and then pretty much can the entire division? Yep. Oh my gosh. I can't see what they're saying. Olaf, I have good news for you. You won. You're my new sidekick. Oh, I did? Does this mean I can give you a warm hug now? What? No, that's unacceptable sidekick behavior. Are you sure? Because I've been reading about... Enough. Start polishing those compliments. I've been missing them for far too long. Alright. But one day, you'll ask me for a hug. How cute. Congratulate, Olaf. Oh, good. You're here. Congratulations, Olaf. You won. I know. I'm so excited. I'll try to be the best sidekick ever. I'm sure you will, just don't let Gaston boss you around too much. Oh, I'm sure we'll get along great. One day, he'll ask me for a warm hug. Uh, good luck with that, I guess. See you soon. What do I oh my god, where'd he go now? Where does this man think he's going? If someone isn't musically gifted and you don't want to be mean, include them. You have four options. The triangle, the cowbell, the tambourine, or hope to God they can sing. <laughs> Anyways, to welcome characters in the kingdom, you collect tokens, ear hats, and magic, for example. Cinderella has ear hats to collect pumpkins, and glass slippers are tokens. And to earn tokens, you earn them by sending characters on tasks or getting them from attractions. That sounds very in-depth. Yeah, I need to check out this game. It's, it's, I like it. Like, I like the way it sounds, and I'm interested. I'm intrigued. That's the word. Hey, one day we could have Bart Simpson skating by. Keep my shorts guest on. <laughs> if I see a Simpsons character in this game, I'm going to die. How are you doing with your new sidekick, Gaston? Well, it's going to take some training. But I like having a dedicated sidekick again. I'm so happy for you. Of course, this means you're no longer a tentative sidekick. I know it's upsetting, but we can't always get everything we want. Yeah, I'll try to survive. You're very brave. Now then. You did do a fair amount of work on my behalf. I suppose I should reward you for it. How kind of you. It is, isn't it? At least you're honest about it, I guess. Here you are. Oh, I got a photo of him. Well, despite everything, I'm glad that you've settled into the valley. Yes, well, the people here are rather odd and don't properly appreciate me. But I am starting to feel at home. Great, if you need me, I'll be around. But maybe ask your sidekick first. Not so bad. Sweet. He's not hanging out with me still, right? No. They do own The Simpsons. I know they do. I know. I went to The Simpsons thing in Universal before it got closed down since Disney owns them now. March coming up. And Family Guy and American Dad. No. No. No, not King of the Hill. Oh, gee, thank you, Bulvar. I forgot the auto cooker reminder. <laughs> oh. My daily reminder of the auto cooker. And the best part is that you can have a parade in the game and they have floats based on the characters. They also help with the tokens, your hats, and magic. So it'll help you feel like you're at Disney. Yeah, I need to definitely try that out. I have to update my iPad to make sure. Make sure I can still update it and get the game. If one person isn't enough, down. then two surely will make her make the auto cooker. 
I'm not ready yet. <laughs> Did you ride the Back to the Future ride at Universal before they got rid of it? Um, no. I went to Universal in 2022. Um, there's a rock. So, I don't, when did the Universal... I don't think I rode the Back to the Future ride. When did it, when did they take it out? I hope you work on Rapunzel's Tower soon. Um, I want to try... To get this last gem to finish the star path. If we don't work on Rapunzel's Tower today, it's going to be the next stream that we're going to do. Make sure you get your glimmer. You promised us a magic dime in front of Scrooge's. Well, now I don't have any dimes. And I'm getting sword pieces today. I have to check how many pedestal things I have. I don't think it's enough to craft a special dime. Alright, well, let's, let me go check. I do need get, um, glimmer too. Uh, the Back to the Future ride was a big thing in the early 2000s. <laughs> no, I didn't go to 2022. Yeah, I went to Disney in like 2010 and 2011. And then Universal, I went in 2022. In other words, Lizzie strapped the recipe of the auto cooker on a chain with one of her pianos. There were many piano legs and threw it in the middle of the ocean. <laughs> All those piano legs. Where is the... Wait a minute. I thought I had some of the... Where'd they go? I thought I had some of these Scrooge parts, right? It was part of the pedestal, wasn't it? Yeah, the I thought I had the pedestal. Did I not get any pedestal parts? I swear, I got a couple pedestal parts the one day. Let me check the other. This is where the part of oof head falls down, the need to cry starts. I have 110 pedestal parts. You have like... Oh, I didn't want to drop that. I don't want that. You have like 100 on... You have like 100, uh, what are they called? Time bending people. <laughs> and the best part about Disney Magic Kingdoms is the background music is based on themes. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I swear I had pieces. I didn't sell them. I don't sell anything because I'm a hoarder. No. Hmm. 
I'm just hoping I misplaced them. I'm not gonna be in there. Nice gambit can trade with you. Well, I kind of want to grind for my own. That's like the only thing I want to do. I wish there was a way that you could just tell. Because I forget. I need like a reminder to look about. Or to look see what shards are available each day. I forget about it. Don't worry. Oh, I just crafted the dime. <laughs> All is good. All's well. I can't share it with Lizzie. I'm on a switch. Oh, well, you you can't share the um the DLC items, right? At first you don't succeed, ask your older siblings for help or Google. That always works, they won't let you down. I Google everything. The DLC items have to be the same device for sharing. Oh, that, that's cool. Who made up that rule? You can trade items again. Ah, well I don't want to, I don't want to buy the DLC again for the Switch. I only have it for Steam. How rude. How rude, Game Loft. Okay, that's the one thing I hate about this game, is the DLC should be per account. Like, this game, this file, should have the DLC no matter what system I'm playing on. I should have crafted another V8 station instead. Diamonds meh. But I had to craft it. Oh, I, I have nothing. Like, for example, the music in the game is touring the city, Atlantis, the Lost Empire. You've got a friend in me, Toy Story. To find dancing Wally. First day finding Nemo. So this is love, Cinderella. Oh, that's like my favorite part is hearing like the songs from the movies and stuff. Like the nostalgia. It just adds to the Disney experience. Yeah, I got to pay a whole $70. I want to play DVD on the Switch. I so Oh, that's awful. Is that? I'm gonna get a diamond. Oh wait, there's one more. Oh gee, when I crafted the dime, Ma Beagle showed up. Okay, if I had an, if, okay. If that wasn't showing up, like if I wasn't, if I knew people weren't gonna post Ma Beagle on Twitter, being like, oh my god, this happens when you make this item. I would have 100% believed you. Like, if I didn't have social media, I would have been, like, scrounging the earth for those parts. Like, if the... the, the um... What is it? If the... The thing, you know... Um, <laughs> hey, Rayhausen. If the DLC goes on sale for Switch, I would like consider buying it, but no, not like full price right now. And I don't play it that much anyway. I don't play it on Switch. Maybe if the Switch 2 comes out, I'd buy the DLC for Switch and start like a new save game or something.
Come on, brother. Hey, man, where's my keys? I don't know. In my the pocket of your pants you wore yesterday. Thanks, man. You're a super genius or something. Guess we know who got the brains of the jewels. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's funny. I just want to play laying in bed. That is the best thing ever. Like, propped up against your pillow, playing the game. It's the best feeling ever. That's like why... That's why I bought it on the Switch and then why I kept it on the Steam Deck. As opposed to going on the Xbox or something. I love... So this is love from Cinderella. She's my favorite princess of all time. I love that song. That's such a good scene too when they're dancing. Alright, where would a perfect date night be for, like, Celia and Mike? Is Mike even awake to take this picture? Yeah, he is. I can technically play on my iPad with cloud gaming, but the touchscreen controls are so weird. I hate playing games on the iPad. It's so, so weird after playing with a controller. Like, my cousin plays Stardew Valley on the iPad, and I don't know how he does it. Hoping they add her in the game. I'm waiting for Cinderella in Dreamlight Valley. They- I hope they add her soon. Because, I mean, they're- She was in the, the uh, first trailer ever of the game, so they have a design for her. I don't know what they're waiting for. We all know the best Disney princess is clearly Sophia. Why did I have to? Number one, be a kid during that time. And number two, no, it wasn't a thing. The swamp curses. They're monsters. Oh my gosh. The Sophia. That's hilarious. Harryhausen. Monster Zing, there it is. Let us see. Oh, I feel like it's going to be hard to see us. I need more pink over this way, people. My second favorite is Snow White, and my third favorite is Aurora. Oh, for the Disney princesses? Um... I'm trying to think... Um... Yeah, I definitely like Princess Aurora. I think she's one of my favorites. <laughs> I still don't watch Sleeping Beauty. <laughs> my brain is spiraling at that comment. <laughs> I love 
That's like one of my favorite movies. I swear if Disney buys DreamWorks and I gotta see the Smurfs in this game, I'm hitting that install button. There is no way Disney or DreamWorks would sell to Disney. Like I don't, they'd have to be like bankrupt, like everybody's going under. Basically my first time when I went to Disney World and met Cinderella and Aurora, Cinderella called me Prince Danny and Aurora called me Sir Danny. This was in 2016 when I was 16 years old. Oh, so they became your favorites. Nice. Maybe I should just move it over here. Kind of in like that dark corner. You can go away. Probably need some lighting. Some romantical lighting. What what screams sushi bar lighting? Neither do I you're not oh my gosh. You guys not watching Sleepy Beauty. Ugh. Disney heart. How does this look? Okay, hold on. Or wait a minute, we can put it inside. Hold on, what if I do, what if I do an inside? Hold on. We can put the graphics back. Oh, it's gonna be dark anyway, hold on. Specifically Cinderella. I was searching for Alice, the one who I originally had a crush on, but when I met Cinderella, she was so much better than her. I love Alice in Wonderland. So what is your least favorite Disney animated film? You could put a chair on the left of the sushi bar to make it look like you're eating there. That's a good idea. Why didn't I think about that before I left? Wrong floor. Because, like, what if... Harry houses. But it's impossible to get a reservation there. Um, windows, windows. Boring. You could put it. Oh, where was that? Originally, Pocahontas, but now it's Toy Four. <gasps> Who? <laughs> I just had a stroke. Why are you hating on Pocahontas? I can't breathe. Pocahontas is my favorite Disney princess ever. 
I love her. I can only choose between Rapunzel, Alice, Wendy, and Ariel. There's a trend here. I don't... I did not foresee while well, there are many others. I have seen... These are the only ones I remember. <laughs> that movie is easy to recreate. Watch Boat Bang. Yo. Wait, what movie? What were you talking about? If I ever met Snow White at Disney one day, I hope she's not scared of me for having Apple products. Maybe she's not the one who <laughs> did the Apple logo. <laughs> you will find her in Epcot in Germany. Hold on, I need to go buy another one of these booths. Hold on. I thought Aurora was your favorite. Um, she was until I remember Pocahontas. Her dad was a chief, so she's technically a princess. Okay, Aurora is my favorite, like, original classic Disney princess. And Pocahontas is my favorite Renaissance princess. Oh, greetings, neighbor. I have a lot of favorites, okay? I can't, I can't help it. <laughs> I have to go by my eras. Thank you kindly. Basically, when I went to Disney, the first time I wanted to meet Alice badly, but when I met Aurora, a staff member told me she wasn't available anymore. I was hoping to ride the teacups with her. Um, I wonder if she only comes out, like, on certain, um... Like, certain holidays and stuff. Like, Flynn Rider comes out around, like, Christmas, Thanksgiving, like, the big holidays. Uh, Kingdom Hearts ones... Which is what I wanted to see when I went to Disney. Um, they're out on Halloween. Like the Kingdom Hearts characters. Like the specialty characters only come around so often. Something like this. I don't know what else to add in here. Maybe the flooring needs to be a bit different. Oh, because you went in May. Yeah, I went in December the first year, like the week of Christmas, and I saw Flynn Rider. And then the next year I went was like in February. And that's when I found out about the specialty characters and stuff. Oh. Oh, I have a good idea. What is your good idea? Bring me back for my, my stroke. Or no, should I actually, hold on. No, there's, 
Oh yeah, the wooden floors. You should turn Mike and Sully's apartment into a sushi restaurant. Place it in the plaza. Oh, that is a good idea. Michael Wazowski. Or should I do it like this? Where is this, Michael Wazowski? I chose Cinderella now as my current crush because if I kept with Alice, she would have gotten frustrated as she did in Alice in Wonderland. Do I like sushi? No. No, 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 no. Come over here. Wow, there it is. Ha. Hi, folks. Uh, well, that's it. That's my set. Thanks for. Ooh. Wow, there it is. Ha. Hi, folks. Uh, well, that's it. That's my set. Thanks for coming out. Uh, now I'm going to have a stroke. And, uh, well, uh, tell your friends and your, your enemies. <laughs> and, uh, Sushi is amazing. I, I don't know. I had it once and it was not my thing. My snap outfit looks like a disaster. I feel like mine looks like... I feel like this is going to be very basic, this photo. The submission. Because to me, I don't know why Alice gets mad in Wonderland and wants everything to make sense when she wishes for nonsense in the first place. And it's like, she tries to keep and <laughs> get mad, etc. I know, it's just so funny. You haven't had the right kind. Probably. Gold is bringing me without my umbrella. Oh! Yes, 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 yes! Oh, yes! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Fish is a big no for me. Can't touch it if it's alive or dead. The ungodly smell. Eel is delicious. I, um... Oh my goodness, Mike Wazowski. I don't know. I had... The one I had had like fish eggs on it it was gross it just it did not taste good i want to trap you back here no 
You want I threaten? It's pronounced Cree. If you're going to, oh my gosh, you've had caviar. If that's yeah, I don't know. They caviar is usually black, right? These I think these were like little red eggs. Like they looked like Finding Nemo, like his brothers and sisters. It was it was some type of egg on top of the sushi. I don't know what kind it was. Caviar can be okay, so maybe it was caviar. I know it was eggs, and I was like, What was this? And like fish eggs, I was like, Dying. I think those are raw, raw, yeah, raw. You can Wazowski him. Michael Wazowski. I hate this man. Get back into that corner. saving it oh my gosh what is that i like it too mike's face oh my god now he's gone it was so chaotic <laughs> the sushi guys like i've seen stuff Yeah, I think that's the one. That is too funny. No, Mike, you can't give that look to children every year. <laughs> that's what I was thinking. Like, no, I'm not Celia. I'm not going to get a better picture. I shouldn't try. That was funny. No, get back in there. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. I'm calling that good. That's hilarious. And for that, Mike, you're sleeping on the couch. Worst night of my life, bar none. I thought you liked sushi. Sushi? <laughs> you think this is about sushi? You just weren't meant to. How funny. It's not an overly decorated picture, but the scene, it was set. Oh my gosh. I can't. 
camera's like trapped. Please give us a shiny diamond. Oh my goodness, I just want the one last shiny diamond. That's all we need. Let's do some voting while waiting for those things to respawn. Alright, DIY theme park challenge. Benays, one thing I do not like about Disney Drillite Valley is getting the game again on iPhone, iPad, Apple TV with Apple Arcade. I bought the full game on my iMac and MacBook Air. That is like the that is really annoying. I hate that you have to buy out multiple platforms. That's the one thing I was mad about when it was like not free to when they decided not to do free to play. You just got your picture for the sweepstakes. Nice, Claire. You have to um if you want to you can share it with me on um Twitter or not Twitter, Instagram. Now I'm, how I can get some ideas for my theme park some more. Oh my gosh. Their hair. It looks like broccoli. I like it. Do I like the photo of the other one? That's Disneyland. Oh, that's cool. They use the, um, oh, you know, that thing. The portal, the, um, the multiplayer thing. That looks so good. Like the wall in Mickey's statue in the plaza. And you can see the castle so perfectly. <laughs> Look at Eric Sakarni. Oh my gosh, that's such a cute picture. And I'm like, I'm not subscribing to Apple Arcade. I have the full game on Mac. 
No, I was expecting a download. That's, that's like the worst thing. Cause I, I wanted to get it on my Xbox, like to play like with a controller and like hook up. I was like, no, I'll just get it when it's free to play. And then I bought it. I bought the game on Switch first. And then I bought, then when they increased the item limit and stuff and decorating, I bought it on the Steam Deck. And I'm like, that's it. If I'm anything else, I'm going when it's free. And then it's like, it's not free. Great. Great. I could always like start a new save game on the Switch. It's not the end of the world. My Switch just is a little laggy some days. That's really pretty. It's like really bright. <laughs> Mike with his eyeball sticking out. Cute. They got it up in the Sunlit Plateau. That's cool. I didn't think about doing it up there. Anyways, I do apologize for talking about Cinderella. She's my favorite princess and I don't want to embarrass you guys. Oh, no worries. You're fine. Gaston is my favorite in this game. I love him. And it made the ashy gag every time. <laughs> I accidentally erased my game once when the menu was different. And you could accidentally erase the game. Whoops. I just accidentally exited out of voting. I would cry. So I did a... um. So this is what I'm thinking of doing. Yes, on ashy. <laughs> <laughs> the rage. Um. So I did. Like I have my main account on Switch. Or I have two Switches. So I have two accounts. Like with the main accounts. And I have like the Switch that I use. For like streaming. And then I have my personal one. That I've had like a lot longer. And I'll just play random games on. So anyway. I did create a file within the first week of playing the game so if i start playing i will have my chocolate crocodile on there that's the only benefit because i did a experiment from my sister to see if she restarted if she would still get her crocodile because like she had the mother gothel glitch quest It was okay, I kept all my stuff, just had to redo the quest, which was fun. I need to move this cart. Um, Are you sure you I just, I would be so terrified of not being able to keep all this stuff. Like, with my luck and how games are, my game would be like corrupted and or something. Ugh. I just... That is the last thing I need, is that one last Just piece. That one crystal. Oh, I could. All right. Let me go. Let me. See. How much is an auto cooker? Let's see how much an auto cooker is. I need to make some pumpkin puffs to sell. Um, a 
ancient machine, right? Did I hear auto cooker? <laughs> yes. All right, how much is the... Okay, so the fully upgraded one makes 30 meals. So does it go like 10, 20, 30? Like how many meals can I make per cooker? And if I have all the stuff, Funny things when I started Dreamlight Valley, I chose Bibbidi Bobbidi Boo as you. Was that like your character's name? I think it's 10, 20, 30. I miss Rich, so I don't buy the cheap stuff. Okay, well, I guess I'll go all the way. I'm so poor. How much mist do I have? Oh, you chose it as your fa phrase to remove the thorns. Oh, okay, I got you now. I thought you named your character that and I was like, wow. They they let that many characters? I guess like you play some games and it's like, max three to ten char characters for your name. And it's like, I can't even spell my name with that. Do I have a, a gardening buddy? I think Elsa is a gardening buddy. I have like six cooker, 12 gardeners, and like 10 or more vacuums. I am poor, okay? I am poor, poor, poor. So I need... Just buy 30 of each. Eggs and cheese. Because I know I need that for the pumpkin puffs. Yeah. And that way, if I make 30, then I can just replace what I have. Game Love had a My Little Pony game? Hello, my friend. <laughs> I found a 100k mist in my couch cushion this morning. <laughs> Seriously. I'm like digging for like pennies and you're like... Hmm. It just appeared out of nowhere. Okay, let... Man, so there's gonna be all these ancient machines. I have to decorate up here. What's it considered? Is it an appliance? Yes. Sweet. Alright. Is she stuck? Fine, you better... You better give me pumpkins. It's based on... Friendship is magic? I have... Get out, no, get out of here. Oh, choose ingredients and quantities you'd like to cook. Let it cook for a while, then come back and collect your meals. I don't want to cook right now. to pick up my pumpkins while getting dirty while gardening that's so 2023 it's so november of 2020 <laughs> hi yuri how are you welcome in happy reset day 
Hope you're having a good Wednesday and you did good on your dream snaps. Okay, so here's my question. The all-knowing gambit. With the uh, with the gardener, okay? When it picks stuff, does it act like you have a gardening buddy with you so that you'll get extras? Like you get the bonuses, the bonus pumpkins and stuff? No, you don't get bonus veggies. Oh. Well, I guess the extra hard work pays off. I just pick them up like a peasant. Alms, alms for the poor. The next carrot they should add in Dreamlight Valley should be Robin Hood and Maid Marian. I would love Robin Hood characters in. We know for sure we're going to get um, Daisy next, and then a lucky character in the DLC, and then Mulan and Tiana are coming for the free updates those have been confirmed and then I think Aladdin Jafar is supposed to be like his actual physical game form is supposed to come the last part of the DLC update Please be in my movie. I hate you. I have like three million coins. It's a sacrifice I make. I have no coins. I'm poor. Dizzy owns ESPN. Maybe we can get Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift. Oh my no. No. If Taylor Swift got added in. Okay, wait, how do I? Oh, recipes. If she got added in this game, I would, I don't know. Not that I don't hate her, but like, with like, football fans and stuff. Okay, and it's just gonna start cooking. Okay, okay, this is that was really expensive. I just heard like so much, especially with like my stepdad being a Kansas City fan. It's like oh, it was always on. If I never hear his name again, Travis Kelsey's LB. I'll be fine. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, well, bye. Thank you for your assistance. Well, someone was collecting mist. I'm a peasant. I am an unworthy little peasant. Instead of being like Pinocchio, like I've got no strings to hold me down, I've got no mist to progress. 
No. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, goodness. If Alice gets added to the game and she gets frustrated, I'm gonna laugh. We're all mad here. I think my rocks should have respawned by by now so we can try one more time for the night to see if we get any more diamonds maybe I should wear my snow white outfit for good luck Because to me, I think she's kind of stupid for not answering the caterpillar question, which was, who are you? And she's like, I hardly know, sir. I mean, she's supposed to say her name. Yeah, I'm trying to think, did they, in the live action, didn't they make it like more... Prof well, profound? And also because like she had... She was like the, um, foretold like savior or something of Wonderland. Who are you? The Alice? I started watching the, the cartoon again the other day. Last Friday? Yeah, Friday when I was working on the pink castle build when I was editing the video. I had it on in the background. Mother knows best. Who forgets you? Not furniture. All right, we'll start over here. We're gonna wear our Snow White outfit for good luck. 
she was kind to the dwarves. Give me a shiny diamond. Wait, is that the Snow White outfit when she was a maid? Yeah. It is. It's her peasant outfit. I thought you meant the iconic outfit. Oh no, my peasant outfit. <laughs> I haven't made the, icon the yellow and blue dress yet. The peasant dresses are always my favorite for some reason. Alright, last chance. Last chance. It's nice to see the sunshine. No, go away. It's not nice to see anything. Well then. Well then. I just didn't want me to have nice things, apparently, game. Okay, so. Yeah, this is... I should save my moonstones, shouldn't I? Because I there's gonna be so better things here. next week. And who knows how well we did on the park one. Oh, back to being moonstone poor again. But that's alright. But yeah, I think we're gonna call it good for tonight. Gotta get some sleep for work tomorrow. Hi, Jay. How are you? Hope you're having a good day. Oh, the Snow White in the forest scene, like, is like this was the scariest thing ever when, like, everything was making her afraid. I have 14,000, but I'm saving for the other building. I want the other building so bad. <laughs> so I can finish over here like i am at a standstill until i see the other house skin and just i can start planning but it's so i'm so i don't know i'm so lost oh what was that gameplay thing it said upcoming on your channel earlier um, so I have scheduled, um, it's the Kingdom Hearts continuing our playthrough. I'm going to play some more tomorrow. Doing our, I think we left off in the Alice in Wonderland world. We haven't started that yet, but that's where we flew the gummy ship to. So take a break for some decorating, some character quests, and go visit some of our classic Disney friends. But anyways, you should try Disney Magic Kingdoms. It's an amazing game. A lot of fun. Yeah, I'll have to take a look at it. I don't know if um you can stream it. Like, if, or if somebody has, um if, like, the songs will get copyrighted or anything. Or, like, claimed. But I'll have to check it out. Looking forward to it. Yes, I am looking forward to some more Kingdom Hearts. Hopefully the world's, like, will give me some inspiration. <laughs> Oh, because I need it for this valley for more spots, but yeah, so the next stream for Dreamlight Valley, I'm not sure yet what my weekend is looking like but yeah, I'll s I'll probably know more by like Friday but then the next Dreamlight Valley stream will work some I more on to meet everyone. leveling up Rapunzel and fixing up her house so I can start decorating. I want to make a tangled area like with the snuggly duckling and stuff in the wild tangle in her house so that's my goal so i have to level her house up her house up so i can actually move it start planning in the area but yeah tomorrow's stream is going to be kingdom hearts and then i'm not sure when the next dreamlight valley stream will be but it'll be soon 
either this weekend or like Monday. I'm just gonna see what my weekend's looking like. But thank you all for hanging out. I hope you all have a wonderful evening. Hope you all got moonstones so you could buy whatever you wanted in the shop. She has some amazing stuff for her friendship quest. I'm just below. I haven't gotten her f the fireplace yet. I see it when, like, that's the next item to get in her friendship. So I got to grind for that because I really want it. <laughs> But yeah, thank you guys so much for hanging out. It was a blast as always. I appreciate it. It makes the game so much more fun hanging out with you guys. Talking about it. But yeah, I will see you all in the next one. And I hope you all have a great night. And if I don't see you in the next stream, have a wonderful week. Take care, everybody. Have a good night. <laughs>